Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. In this video, we are going to install NS3.38 in Ubuntu 22.04 operating system. So what I have done is I have created a new fresh installation of Ubuntu 22.04 and I am just giving you the instruction from the beginning. So always you can try with sudo apt update and sudo apt install build essential autoconf auto make and libxmu-dev. So these are the packages mandatory to be installed after the fresh installation of Ubuntu. So let's do this in the terminal. Yes, sudo apt update. Then give the password and then press enter. And the packages gets installed one after the other. Afterwards, sudo apt install build essential hyphen autoconf hyphen automake then hyphen libxmu hyphen dev so once it is done then you go and download ns 3.38 the package so go to this website nsnam.org and click the latest link the latest one being ns 3.38 please download and keep it so now the download is started and it's done now some additional packages need to be installed you can uh, copy this uh, package uh, commands directly from my description window below this video you can uh, copy this and then you paste it here mm. now afterwards some additional packages also need to be installed like wireshark then uh, netanim then visualizer so there are many packages that can be installed along with ns3 so all these packages uh, ns3 website uh, gives the documentation in the documentation they have provided all the commands or all the packages that need to be installed see sometimes what happens is uh, you may get some bugs because of uh, unavailability of a package mm -hmm. so to make it easier what i have given is i have given the extensive command where the complete command you can make use of and copy and paste when after the go after the first installation of ubuntu so that all the packages will be installed in uh, your uh, linux operating system so here is the extensive list of command what i have given just you can copy and then you can paste it in the terminal to download all the packages it may take some time based on your uh, speed of your computer anyway i have just uh, stopped the video somewhere uh, here so i paused the video and then i just uh, uh, cut some portions of the video so yeah. Two methods of uh, decompressing one through the terminal another through the gui so for easier understanding this many of you might be uh, fresh users or the new users so i can uh, give them give you a method of using gui in case if you want to use a terminal mode installation then uh, you can follow my uh, previous videos where i have given the terminal mode of uh, unzipping or decompressing now this is the step number two now unzip or untar so that's what we call untar because the name of the file is a tar tape archive that's why we call it as an untaring okay so now that's what we are going to do in uh, gui mode now whenever you unzip it always give it to the home folder so i am just going to give it in my home folder for uh, unzipping it so now you can see that in the downloads i have just selected right click extract so extract here so click this extract so it will be showing you what is the content then right click and extract and give it to the home folder so always uh, give it in the home folder so that uh, whenever you search for the directory you can able to find it in the home folder so after the unzipping or compression is over decompression is over then we can uh, run uh, two commands so successfully it's extracted now you open a terminal after opening a terminal a new terminal you can uh, go to the folder ns all in one uh, 3.38 folder and inside that we need to give a command so that command i've just given in the video here so you can give cd ns hyphen all in one hyphen 3.38 slash then you can give dot slash build dot py space double hyphen enable hyphen examples then double hyphen enable hyphen tests so when you install this command all the packages will be installed by default in your machine 
or ns3 will be installed this may take around 10 to 15 minutes for building the complete packages uh, for uh, building this ns3 now this is the command we can input so now this will go on uh, for 10 to 15 minutes anyway i just uh, pass the video for uh, the complete installation and i'll show you the end screen so what happens at the end so that i can able to show you in this video so if you have a new subscriber or if you are just now started your journey in network simulator 3 we have a lot of videos available here you can make use of these videos for uh, your research and your project work for your uh, higher education and uh, you can always uh, subscribe to my channel and then uh, inform about our channel to your friends and your acquaintances and to your uh, colleagues as well as your students if you are a faculty now we will test whether ns3 installed successfully or not for that we have uh, one example to run the hello simulator so dot slash ns3 run hello hyphen simulator so once you run it if you get a hello simulator value there so that indicates that the ns3 was installed successfully now there are two more examples we can try uh, the ns3 run first and second so there are two examples and the many examples are there we can try one after the